Hi, this is Islin with Thea Marketing, and today I want to talk about seven questions that you should ask your marketing agency before you start with them, or hopefully as you're getting to know them. Also, my daughter's drawing behind me on the whiteboard, so just letting you know in case you have any questions. <laughs> if you see a little hand drawing behind there, that, that's my daughter. So first of the questions is what are some of your previous clients? You can always ask the agency who some of their previous clients are. We like to specialize in technical companies, particularly IT companies and MSPs and software companies, but we like to work with technical companies across the board to explain really hard technical concepts to CEOs and business owners so they can make better business decisions. So these marketing agencies can be niched down to one industry or have experience across multiple verticals. So it depends on what, what you're looking for. I find that it doesn't really matter if the company's niched down or not necessarily, it's whether or not they can give you the results you're looking for. Next question, the second question is how do you measure success and do they understand your company's goals? As part of our process at FIA Marketing, during our calls with the prospective client, we like to understand our prospective clients' goals. Like how many clients are they trying to bring in each month? How many new clients are they trying to bring in each month? Are they trying to upsell their current clients? How many current clients do they have? So it's really important to understand the business structure and the marketing and sales goals and business goals of the clients before we can make a good plan for them. So in our calls, we like to understand our prospective clients' problems before we go solving them. So we like to help our prospective clients understand how are they getting their leads at, at the top of the funnel, to how are they converting to clients, to how are they converting those current clients to referral partners. Now, the third question is pricing. How is your pricing structured? Now, FIA Marketing, at FIA Marketing, we don't do a pay per lead basis. We have a fixed monthly cost per month and you pay for your software and your services. Um, so that's, that's how we look at it is it's a fixed monthly fee and our packages range from $1,500 per month to up to $20,000 a month, depending on what you're looking for in terms of marketing and sales. Now, along the lines of pricing, this is an interesting question, but I guess the fourth question is, is my content syndicated? So on a lot of cheaper marketing plans you can get, you can have content delivered to your blog, but the problem with that content oftentimes, especially if you're looking at below a $1,500 per month price point, is that the content is syndicated, which means your content will be put across a lot of different MSPs blogs in possibly your same space in your same geographic area um, or in uh, definitely within the US it's in the same uh, US area and that doesn't help you with SEO that doesn't help you necessarily get more clients because it, it's not helping your search engine results page on Google so you've got to ask if your content is being syndicated or is the marketing company producing original content each month for your blog. Also, another question along those lines, the fifth question is, is a copywriter or content writer writing the content for your blog? Now, generally, the content on your blog is to educate and inform. 
So it's okay to have a content writer writing uh, the content for your blog, but it's important to have a copywriter whose job it is to persuade and have persuasive writing write your website content. That's key because you want your customers to buy at that point when you're, they're looking at your website content. Your uh, blog content might have a call to action, hopefully does have a call to action at the bottom, but it's more important that your website copy has a copywriter writing it because that's when they're looking at pricing and looking to see if they actually want to use your services. The blog content is to educate and inform. Now, the sixth question is, what is your process to address issues? And at FIA Marketing, we want you to be really upfront with us when you have a problem. Like raise your hand immediately, send us an email or get us on the phone uh, whenever you have a concern because it's very necessary to address it right there and then because we don't want concerns or problems to fester over time because they just get worse. So hopefully we can address your issue or problem within 24 hours and come up with a solution for it depending on the problem. So we like to address our issues right away as soon as we, we get them. And finally, our seventh question is what sales and marketing certifications do you have? So we have, we are part of the duct tape marketing network, uh, which was started by John Jansen. We have over a hundred partner companies who help us with, um, if we need, for example, uh, content, we, we turn to one of our partner companies to help us. Um, and I find that this network has been really helpful for us as we've grown our business. And we are also HubSpot agency partners. And we love using the HubSpot platform. Our website is actually hosted on HubSpot and we use the HubSpot CMS. And we also use the HubSpot sales professional to automate our one-to-one -one sales emails in the background. And we also use our marketing professional for landing pages, blog posts, and all, all of that. So we love using HubSpot and we like getting our customers to use HubSpot as well. And the best thing about HubSpot is their CRM or their uh, customer um, relationship management. And I find that that's been really helpful for us to keep track of our leads and who we talk to. So that's why we love using HubSpot and we like to put our customers on HubSpot as well. So that's the top seven questions you should ask your marketing agency when you talk to them. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please share with your friends and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.